the, the Laura Loomer of it all. <laughs> the Laura Loomer of it all. <laughs> it, is, it, it is very clear that Trump is having an affair with Laura Loomer. One hundred percent. Like, there's no, there's no real question. Do we it. want to do Laura Loomer instead? Because I, I want to do Laura Loomer. All right, it, I got them both it, ready. I got them both it ready. Explains yeah, a lot. It explains a lot. It explains a lot of Loomer. what's going on. <laughs> DJ, I want to, I want to hear what you got ready because this is, it's a story that isn't getting talked about enough. It has all of the things that would make a great story, and I don't understand why the media isn't all the fuck over it. Uh, I think it's a touch too tawdry, even for Donald Trump, maybe. Maybe that's what they're, they're going with. But, uh, okay, so let's just get the show rolling. This is actually the one I wanted to do the most, but it was the least important, I thought. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, no, TJ, honestly, it funny. is kind of. I, I, it is important. That a candidate for presidency of the United States is, you know, I guess we don't know that he's fucking her, but he's at the very least keeping a conspiracy theorist who says that 9-11, uh, what, what it, was it an inside job? Uh, yeah. Like legitimately, yeah. like that she is did. the person that is in his inner circle right now, and he could yeah. be president of the United States. I like, mean, that's a big deal. It's, okay. Is she any crazier than Stephen That's Miller or Steve Bannon? I mean, yes, yeah, maybe a little, but it's like, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think he was fucking Steve Bannon, so maybe that's a difference, but <laughs> it's just, uh, all right. So, all right, who is Laura Loomer? For anyone wondering, uh, Laura Loomer is, she's essentially a C-tier conservative commentator. I remember seeing stuff from her. She spreads the wildest conspiracy theories imaginable. Like uh, like John brought up the 9-11 uh, inside job thing. She got kicked off of Twitter for some sort of uh, Islamophobic bigotry. Like she was always yeah. saying that. Yeah, I remember one time she said that she put a tweet out saying, yeah, I'm looking to catch a cab, but all the cabbies here are Muslim and I'm not getting in a car with one of them. I mean, just like, like the most vile shit imaginable that she was actually removed from Twitter for it. She had this hilarious <laughs> protest where she she like she handcuffed herself to the front door of the Twitter building. But it was like two doors so people could still walk in and out. That's and they funny. asked her. They asked her, hey, why didn't you just like loop the handcuffs around both doors so people couldn't enter? And her answer was oddly responsible. She goes, oh, well, if I did that, it'd be a, a fire code violation, <laughs> which I thought was very funny that she actually it's was reasonable, uh, reasonable enough. Yeah. So Laura Loomer has been seen hanging out with Donald Trump. This picture of right here is uh, her heading out of the Trump's plane when right before the debate with Kamala Harris. There's a lot of pictures of her and Trump like being like this. This one is just a normal one, honestly, with them, you know, taking a photo. But there's pictures with her and her like chest shoved right up against Trump and uh, with his hands around her hip and her waist and everything being very friendly. And when I first heard this, I thought, well, look, I mean, who knows? I, I don't. But then this started showing up more and more. And it got pretty bad when. It kept spreading and more and more people started discovering who Laura Loomer was and statements that she made. And so I'm going to share one of them right here so you guys can get a good idea of what kind of person this Loomer is. All right. Let's uh, let's see what she has to say here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> like the way they talk and their little D.I. Shaniqua voices. And it, it's just oh. an irritating sound. They all have the, they all have the same voice. I'm talking about Kamala Harris. Uh, Letitia James and Fanny Willis, like all of the like meritless DEI Shaniquas talk the same way. It's very obnoxious the way that they talk. I got to is is oh, DEI oh, oh. not just the N word? Because what the fuck is a DEI Shaniqua voice? <laughs> is, that, is that not just the N word? Bro? <laughs> so what what separates Laura Loomer from most of your other conservative commentator? Is that there is no polish on Laura Loomer? Like, That's like great most, racist. yeah, most conservative commentators would be, you know, would have enough finesse to not say DEI Shaniqua voice. Because, like you said, like you said, it doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> like a diversity, equity, and inclusion voice. What the fuck does that what mean? That you mean, mean a black voice? Because you named three black women in a row and yeah. called them Shaniquas. So yeah, this was just something that's it's like, like it's like the opposite of that Modern Family joke where he where, where Phil Dumphy's like, yeah, I just think I'm attracted to just powerful, independent women. You know, Michelle Obama, Serena Williams, uh, Oprah. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> i saw that for, i i've never seen modern family but i saw that clip for the first time i think yesterday hilarious he's like yeah oprah condoleezza rice serena williams and 
oh wait a minute yeah, he likes <laughs> <Bible>. <laughs> it's really funny it's just really funny like that and even Good. when laura luma uses the the de i like like the word dei in and of itself are we all know it's a, we all know it's a yep. dog whistle but they yep. at least try to be like sneaky about it like yeah you know they'll be like they'll speak about dei only in specific context of like talking about a black person that has gotten a position not like as an actual like term for a black person which is how she's using it in this instance like the dei shanika voice you could have just said the n-word and made everybody's day easier you didn't have to because it's functionally the same it doesn't even operate the word doesn't made mean the same thing when used in this context diversity equity and inclusion shanika voice it's it's just the n-word for her and she's un unabashedly i'm actually surprised she didn't just go out and say it because of the things that i've seen from her like the just the the straightforward un unabashed open racism that i've seen from her i'm genuinely surprised that she didn't just call kamala harris the n-word at this point well i mean she she said not the n-word she went the other way and she, she said <laughs> um uh, hold on, uh, for, 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 uh the white house will smell like curry and white house oh, will be facilitated via call center that that's, that's not nuts. that's not like a that's what she said <laughs> like, that's insanely that is like if i heard that as a middle schooler i'd be like bro you got to step up your racist joke game that's not even like that's not even <laughs> it's like, not even good enough for 12 year old people at that like that's crazy yeah um, Man. Yeah, this is uh, what kicked off like the media firestorm, what John was talking about right here, where he says, uh, Laura Loomer says, if Kamala wins the White House, it'll smell like curry. House speech will be facilitated via call center. The American people will only be able to convey their feedback through a customer satisfaction survey that nobody will understand. Now, I, do you guys know that there was a, a congressperson who took offense to this statement uh if you know it don't don't say it but if you don't know it you i want you to guess do you guys know who it was uh there, I do there been a couple i don't know which one you're referring to all right okay so know. there was a congressperson and I'll, I'll pull up uh which congressperson was was uh particularly upset about this and uh, it might surprise a few of you guys out there but it was Marjorie Taylor Greene, oh, yeah. and no she, way. she responded to Laura Loomer's statement saying, this is appalling and extremely racist. It does not represent who we are as Republicans or MAGA. Okay. Um, <laughs> this does not represent President Trump. This type of behavior should not be tolerated ever. Laura Loomer should take this down. Say now, cycle now. It, right? Yeah. It's like, wow, what? Why would Marjorie Taylor Greene be so pissed about this? This of seems right people. up her alley, right? DJ, you know, you, are, that, that's a rhetorical question. Right? Oh, of you course know. I know. Yeah, John, why, please why? enlighten us. Enlighten us why you think. Uh, Wait, yeah, yeah, I need to know why. I need to know why oh. she. Uh, well, it, I have no well, idea. You see, I, I, uh, I'll tell you, uh, have you seen The Boys? Yes. <laughs> oh, we so did all. We, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> Firecracker is yeah. built around Marjorie Taylor Marjorie Greene. Taylor Green. Mm -hmm. Marjorie Taylor Greene is pissed that Laura Loomer is fucking Don Trump. <laughs> like, like that's that's it that's the entire story here it's a cat fight <laughs> like that's that's it that she's, makes she's sense upset. she's the one. okay <laughs> that makes so much sense because my i was my eyeballs were popping out of my head racist from marjorie taylor green saying something is intolerant i was genuinely fucking flabbergasted but that makes so much sense why hasn't marjorie taylor green been you know sort of in, in trump's inner circle is it really just because she's so, not that attractive to him so well probably but so more attractive than lauren loomer in my opinion i don't know uh, <laughs> Laura, you know you know how this is uh this is uh this is our we're allotted four minutes of misogyny every episode <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and take that right now do you guys know how old laura loomer is she's 36 31 <laughs> she's 31 oh. she she is a rough 31 folks like that is like that is like she got like a bunch of work done like i don't know getting work done on your face is tricky like it's very you got to make sure it's done right otherwise you end up looking like laura loomer because she she let's but so with marjorie taylor oh, green she has had a thing for trump for a long time and i don't know if you guys have seen this clip right here where but it's a clip where it's before Marjorie Taylor Greene was elected to Congress. And she's, I think it's right before, and she's giving a presentation to some women's group. And she has a cardboard cutout of Donald Trump. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but here we go. That's insane. There we go. And then I said, oh, 
I gotta do one more thing. I always MTG is buff as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your hand. Watch your hand. That's crazy. Yeah, he, he is. He's fantastic. This guy right here is great. Stayed it up in there in the mucky swamp. Diane always has them in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's amazing. I just <laughs> so in front of everybody, <laughs> in front of God and everyone, she's just rubbing on this uh, two dimensional penis, and it's just it's just so strange. And so I didn't include this in the the clips that I brought for the show, but there's like a back and forth between Green and Loomer that's just it's fantastic. You guys should look it up sometime. But Green uh, Loomer fires back at her saying, "Oh, you're as funny. You call me a racist when you're an anti semite who believes in space lasers for Jewish people." And you're, one of your staffers told me your favorite word is the N-word. And by the way, I won. Even though you tried to tell Trump I'm a bad person, he doesn't believe you. I mean, it's, it, it couldn't be more oh, obvious what's going on there. It was a cat fight like It that. is. It is. It absolutely is. And she, she backed Kevin McCarthy, who was like kind of at odds with Trump. And mm -hmm. so... Yeah, she's like, and so I got Oppo and all that, and she and Laura Loomer is just gloating the entire fucking time, and it's it's pretty it's pretty fun to watch. But yeah, I uh, uh, did I feel the picture? Oh, I thought I tried to pull the picture it, of. Oh, wait, it John. would be it would be so fitting, like after all of this craziness, after all of it, if somehow the reason Donald Trump gets taken down is for having an affair with a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, that man. that would be the most fitting. Like you you. It's like you couldn't have seen any of this coming except for that. That's the one thing you could have seen coming. And I'm surprised it took this goddamn long. <laughs> what is, have you guys seen Succession? I've That's, never seen it, no. Right. There is this is something that uh when I was looking up Laura Loomer and you know, sort of researching on it, this is something that immediately jumped out to me as the exact same dynamic between the main character, well, not the main character, but the father, uh Logan Roy. And one of like the young assistants that he um, mm -hmm. ends up like uh, bringing into his inner circle, and his three kids are all looking at it. this woman that's like fucking fifty years her his junior. Um, she's like thirty something years old, came from nothing, um, and she's going on all these like private flights with him, and is showing up to every event that he's at, and is like his right hand, and he's got a wife, like he's got a wife, full full and everything. Um, and the way everybody, the way their their characters, his children talked about the the their relationship was so funny uh, because they recognize that it's this like old powerful dinosaur that for all intents and purposes is one of the most powerful people in the world but is still decrepit and icky and like mm -hmm. you know there's something like not and he's also like uh in the show he's like losing a lot of mental capacity like he's he's his, his mental his brain health is declining and his physical health is declining rapidly um and it seems like the exact same dynamic between Trump and Laura Loomer, like this, this old but super powerful, but also decrepit and kind of nasty um, um, uh, political figure with this like young and somewhat attractive. Uh, <laughs> I say somewhat attractive because I just looked up a picture of Laura Loomer. She's and terrifying. She was like Jigsaw. <laughs> yeah. And, like, she, <laughs> oh my God. That's such a good comparison. She does. She's Jigsaw. Jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's... All right, your four minutes is up, TJ. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm canceled. I'm done. No more. No <laughs> more. <to> organization. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> gonna, I know. <laughs> Jigsaw is crazy. <laughs> I was, was going to say she looks like a drawing, but Jigsaw is nuts. Jigsaw is incredible. Uh, but I don't know. It's no, just Jigsaw makes a hell of a lot more sense than Laura Loomer. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. yeah like Much she, more consistent she, worldview. She she moonlights as Jigsaw <laughs> <laughs> when she's not working with... Well, oh, oh, real quick. So I want to play this video because these rumors have gotten to Laura Loomer that she's sleeping with Donald Trump. And uh, she wants to let you know that she will not stand for this. Oh, that was kind of sexist too. I didn't mean it that way. But uh, <laughs> this is, uh, I did not mean it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, share this so you guys can see what uh, her response to these allegations are so malicious so disrespectful to donald trump and melania trump they've taken it so far and you know if i was a leftist journalist if i was a if i was a all right john i know you said my four minutes is up but i swear this is the last comment 
No, I noticed that she's wearing a pearl necklace. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. That she's wearing a pearl necklace. I didn't notice that, but okay. If, Let's. If I had more respect for her intelligence. <laughs> I would say that that was intentional. <laughs> yeah, right. The pearl necklace is a good. God, that's funny. That's all right. Well, here, let's go. Let's finish. <laughs> I was a leftist journalist. If I was a if I was a Democrat, oh my God, the media would be up in arms if the Republican media was doing this to a uh, you know a left wing journalist. Oh my God, they're misogynists. They're bullying a woman. They're trying to they're trying to Monica Lewinsky her. They're you know they're demonizing her. They're 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 trying to discredit the fact that she's a working woman. I mean, look, I know that Kamala Harris sucked dick to get where she is today, okay? And she had to sleep with Willie Brown in order to uh, to get to the top. But some of us women, right, we actually work hard. Some of us women have no desire to have sexual affairs with politicians or men with elite political status to climb the ladder. I know that Kamala Harris can't say the same, but, you know, believe me when I say that uh, that's not me. Or as Kamala Harris likes to say, they ain't like us, right? She ain't like me. I ain't like her. Hey, okay? I don't suck dick to get to the top. That's what Kamala. All right. Is that not? Uh, which one is a defam is defamation or libel? Which one's uh, written and then which one is? Uh, written? so right. slander is speech. Libel is in writing. Is that not and slander? Well, so slander and like defamation and stuff is very difficult against a public figure. If it's against a private mm. figure, it's a lot easier. But against a politician, almost impossible to get like a, a defamation yeah. lawsuit. Yeah, yeah. It has yeah. to be really, it really has to be really bad. bad. Like, it has to be so. Yeah, so like bad. you raped a child bad. Like you know, saying uh -huh. so, like, it has to be like to that level. So yeah, um, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Crazy. John, I do want to I want to take back what I said or what you said. Like, we don't think she's smart enough. She mentioned Monica Lewinsky and sucking dick three times in that. But the and wearing the pearl necklace. No, that's on purpose. That is on purpose. I think she did that on purpose. I think that is uh, that's what she's going for. Right. Yeah. It's kind of kind of on the, the nail on the head there. And I wanted to if you're wondering, I, we haven't shown what Donald Trump had to say about any of this. Like, what does Donald Trump have to say about this? Because people are saying like, they've uh, asked, like, listen, Laura Loomer has said a ton of racist shit. And John, what you're saying, the Republicans are mad. A lot of Republicans are mad. It's not just Marjorie Taylor Greene. Like a lot of Republican pundits and Republican broadcasters, and Republican well, politicians. Yeah, like she's giving away the game. Yes. Like, yeah, like, they're like, they're like, they're like, <laughs> like, it's like, it's, there's like, yo, Laura, shut the fuck up. Like we've yeah. been saying <laughs> this subtly racist shit for years if you just say yeah. the racist version of it they're yeah gonna figure it out <laughs> yeah B barry goldwater is rolling over in his grave he taught you guys how to use the dog whistles back <laughs> in the civil rights era and you're just throwing it all away we thought it was bad with trump so they asked trump hey um is laura loomer advising your campaign because if so we we should know and here was uh donald trump's response to this Republican colleagues or your allies who are concerned about your close relationship with Laura Loomer? Well, I don't know uh, what they would say. I, Laura's been a, a supporter of mine, just like a lot of people are supporters, and she's been a supporter of mine. She speaks very uh, positively of the campaign. I'm not sure why you asked that question, but <laughs> Laura is a supporter. Uh, I don't control Laura. Laura has to say what she wants. She's a She's a free spirit. Well, I don't know. I mean, look, I can't tell Laura what to do. Laura's a supporter. I have a lot of supporters. How many uh, times this nigga but I, so I don't know what uh, exactly you're <laughs> referring to. It, that's okay. Yeah, please. I just don't know. Laura's a supporter. I don't know. She is. She is a strong person. She's got strong opinions, and I don't know what she said. But that's not up to me. She's a supporter. Please with you on your plane okay, a lot of people do it's a very big plane with you. she made racist remarks about your opponent she also espoused conspiracy theories about 9-11 do you disavow those remarks well to see what the remarks are I, you're telling me for the first time we're here about we're here discussing the destruction of san francisco and california by a person that's running for president so i don't even know what you're talking about i do know that <laughs> Uh, she may have said something based on what you're telling me, but I don't know what she said, but I'll go take a look and I'll put out a statement later on, but I really don't know. Please. Okay. I want to go to Ate first, if you don't mind, John, real quick. So I, I love the use of, uh, I'm hearing this for the first time, just like he used with Bader <laughs> Ginsburg. That really made me laugh. So if I didn't think he was bullshitting by now, I definitely did not. So Ate, riddle me this. 
His statement is that, look, Laura Loomer is not a part of this campaign. He and J.D. Vance both both released official statements saying that Laura Loomer is not part of this campaign. All right. Mm -hmm. Why has she been following you around for weeks now? Why has she been on your plane? Like what what's going on there? What what's your theory? Uh, say, I'm, I'm curious. Um, I think she's a supporter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the best thing I can say. And that it's so funny because he said that like at least 10 times throughout this interview. And it, you know, it be he beat me over the head with it. He she's on the campaign because she's a supporter, and she is one of the most outspoken supporters of his campaign. And He's fucking her. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's funny because Trump knows how to lie. Yeah. And he's clearly caught off guard by this. Like, <laughs> like you right. know when Trump is lying and knows he's lying. This was Trump lying on the spot. Yeah. And <laughs> and it was very clear. <laughs> like, Quick. <laughs> like that's the most caught in an affair statement I've right. ever heard. Like she's a free spirit. She's oh, a free bro. spirit. Free spirit. Oh, you oh, ever heard Donald God. Trump describe someone as a free fucking spirit? She makes me feel so young. Like I mean, it's just like it, it's just like that was the in a strong field of competition. That is the least believable I've ever heard Donald Trump. Like and it's like he was just uh and there's like, well, why is she on the plane? Well, a lot of people, hey, it's a big plane. Like, <laughs> buddy, whoa. You just see how flustered he was when they asked him. I knew immediately that he was flustered when he was like, he's like, I don't even know why you would ask me that. Like, yeah, dude, she's, she's a supporter. <laughs> any any one of my supporters can wander onto the plane anytime they feel like, yeah, it's just like, man, that is like. Uh, I, my first thought when I saw that, I was like, oh, those two definitely aren't fucking. There's no way I'm seeing that. I'm, I'm convinced they're just good pals that everyone in his circle is like, stay as far away from her as possible. And you're going to keep her around, go out of your way. See, what really gets that, he really painted himself to a corner when he said that she's not part of the campaign. Because yeah. then you have to wonder, well, why okay, is why is she there? Why is she traveling from state to state right. with you? Why? Right. Why are you he hugging the nine eleven memorial with him? He didn't. It, it's just like, yeah. Like, you know why would you bring? That? Why would you bring random supporter with you? That doesn't make any fucking sense in the world. What kind of confuses me about this though is like about the con you know the idea, which is probably more true than it isn't that he's bringing her to you know to to smash. Is that like it's there are a lot of really beautiful women that are yes. Oh my god, to power, right? Like. I'm certain without a fraction of a doubt that Trump could find some of the most beautiful women in the world that are exclusively attracted to wealth and power and do not care about the morality of, of whoever it is they're servicing that he could bring with him anywhere. Um, you know, because he's a billionaire and he's a fucking presidential candidate and he's, he's but, Trump. But you're, you're, you're hitting the nail on the head here. He's had a whole life of that. He's had oh, a yeah. whole life of, you know, what, you know, just grab him by the pussy and they don't care. Yeah. What he cares about is her sycophancy. Like mm. he, he 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 cares that she's gonna get on a fucking microphone in front of you know, <laughs> millions of you know a couple hundred people, couple hundred people, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, people. And, and say the most vile race shit in his name. Like that that's what gets him hard. It's hard to get him hard. <laughs> that's what gets him hard. <laughs> it, but here's the thing with that too. Do you remember a couple months ago when everyone thought that Trump must be hooking up with his lawyer, Alina Haba? I mean, say what you want about Alina Haba. She's very attractive. Like yes. she's and she's just as acerbic. Well, she's not quite as racist. I've never heard her say anything racist. So maybe that's what that's what actually turns Donald Trump on is the racism. Like that's actually what gets him going. That Alina Haba was just a lying sycophant, but she wasn't quite bigoted enough. Uh, I mean. Any, any, like Jesus, like you don't think. All right, once again, I'm, I'm like three shows into my misogyny here, but it's like yeah, you don't think like, uh, like Lauren Boebert or Nancy Mace, I were a thousand times better looking than, um, than, uh, you know, uh, or Laura even Lou like, or even like Tommy Loren, like where is she at on Trump? Tom, see, I don't know if she's quite, quite that bad. Like Tommy Lauren is awful, but. She's she's been sounding the alarm on a lot of this shit because like she's smart like she's not, like I remember like, the reason she left Fox News or got fired is because she came out as pro-choice. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. So like I've seen her 
she did it. Ah, I can't remember who the interview was, but she was telling them, hey, you need to dial back this rhetoric because it is really turning off a lot of people. So I don't think Tommy Lauren would would fit that mold. Like not not the way Laura Loomer would. You know, she's just she's shameless. Not a sycophant. Yeah, she's not quite as sycophantic as, as Lauren Loomer, but yikes. Yeah, that is uh we cracked the code, fellas. They're they're definitely <laughs> they're fucking. They're, they fucking, they fucking. All right. All right. You, you, know, you want to talk about last this? Uh, I have one more ahead. question. Mm -hmm. Do you do you think that his wife knows? Like and oh. by knows, I mean like is like just shake hands, like just she's cool. probably ecstatic. She's yeah. probably ecstatic, man. <laughs> like uh, Lonnie doesn't talk to him. She, yeah. She's, She's you somewhere see, else. You've seen, seen those. Her in a while. Well, yeah. So you've seen the videos over the years. It's been funny watching the videos of Trump and Melania's interactions where he tries to hold her hand and she swats it away. I feel like I've yeah. seen a dozen of those videos she where she does that. that. Yeah, she she seems to be repulsed by him. And the fact that she has never been with him on the campaign trail, she doesn't go with him to his court appearances for like a year and a half now. They've not been traveling in public together as like okay things are, are not going well with between and like and the family values people don't give us they, they don't care at all work. and and i don't feel bad for melania trump but i feel a little because imagine you're some i don't know where she's from like somewhere in eastern europe i can't remember yeah. but uh Bro, some, yeah some some eastern european supermodel and you're like you get the chance to marry donald trump at like 68 years old or something like that you're like hey all right that this guy's gonna, gonna yeah. go any minute now. He'll be dead today, <laughs> and the guy lives twenty more years. You're like, oh my god, what is this guy? Gonna? And then he runs for president. I mean, it's just like <laughs> she never expected any of this. And so I'm not saying she's a good person or anything, but I don't blame her for the decision that she made. And she's um she she's definitely paying the price for it. So made it to the end of this episode. This has been a wonderful, I don't even know what you just watched because we talked about so many topics today, but I hope you had a good time. If you did, make sure to like, make sure to sub subscribe. And if you liked our guest, the wonderful Destructo Hugo, like we had multiple, multiple comments uh, saying today, uh, Destructo, where can people find you? Uh, yeah, man. Thanks once again for having me on. I literally, I had literally messaged, I don't know if TJ told you, but I was like, when that, I was like, I haven't argued. I haven't like, just like <laughs> ranted about politics in a while, bro. Let me get on the fucking podcast. What am I, doing? <laughs> I fucking love it here. Um, and so if you want to, this is really because I've centered, I've I've tailored my content now to be more sort of like cin uh, cinema focused. So this is one of the places where I get to just like spe speak unabashedly about politics. But if you would like to say, you know, see my left uh, le left wing centered uh, takes on art, cinema, TV, pop culture, and things of that nature, um, then you can find me on TikTok at Destructo Jugo. Um, you can also find some of my more longer form videos on YouTube at Destructo Jugo. Um, and you can find me as well on Instagram, you know, in the same name. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ate. We appreciate you coming to the show. Folks, we appreciate you watching us. We This show does not suck, but if you watch one of our segments, you'll find out about an associate of Trump who absolutely does. So we'll catch you guys <laughs> next time. See you around. Thanks for joining. Uh, <laughs>